All right. Um, so we have it where we can um, uh, click and reveal things. Uh, so it's kind of ready to go. Um, now I want to make it so that it'll play. So um, at this stage, I'm going to force it to always show me the the cells, or what's underneath. I'm, I'm going to reveal everything. So because I, I want to see kind of what's going on. Um, so in the draw state function, it said if this draw the cover or else draw the cell. I'm going to comment this stuff out. And I'm just going to say draw cell row column. And that'll be it. So um, now when I play it, uh, column's not defined. What? Oh, cell, sorry. All right, I can see everything. If I click, it reveals it, but it doesn't change, so I, I, it still looks the same. All right, so I want to start making the game play. So if you recall, we said that the first time you click, I'm not going to have random numbers anymore. Um, we'll go back to all zeros, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. So here I'm going to put in a zero. Save that. All empty. Okay. Now, when I click, apparently, um, I don't want whatever cell I click to be a zero or, or to be a bomb. So I'm going to, when I click the first time, um, I need to know that it's the first time I've clicked. And then I'm going to run a, um, a special function just the first time I click. Um, there's, a, there's multiple ways that you can do that. Um, so I'm going to make a function that will populate uh, random one, negative ones. So I'm going to say, all right, uh, we'll come down here. I'm just going to make a lot of space. Okay, um, function populate Okay, so when we populate um, I, I need another thing. I need to say let invalid cells equals an empty list um, We'll have that and we'll say when I populate, um, while, uh, you know what, I need something else too. Um, we'll say let bomb count equals zero. So while bomb count is less than, um, uh, dimensions, so if we have a 10 by 10 grid, uh, we'll, we'll need 10 bombs, I guess. So while bomb count, count is less than the number of dimensions, we're going to add bombs. So we're going to say uh, let x equals math.random. And I want the random number between be between 0 and 1 less than the dimension size. So I'm going to multiply that by dims. And I'm going to round this, so math.floor, that'll round down. Y equals math.floor, math.random, times dims. Okay, so I get a random placement for my negative 1, or for my bomb, which is I'm going to represent as a negative 1. So I'm going to say... Um, well, bomb counts less than dims. We're going to say uh, field x, y is equal to negative 1. 
so that's going to be the populate function. It's going to put in negative ones. Um, we will do that for now. Yeah, okay. So, um, and then on click, right now we have this function. Uh, I'm going to change this slightly. So instead of on click equals function, I'm going to name this function um, handle click. And I could just say handle click, and that would work the same as it was. Now it's going to call this function. Um, but for the first click, I'm going to actually say populate. And then when I click populate, then it's going to say um, canvas.onclick equals handle click. So the idea is that when I start the game, if I click on the canvas, it will run the populate function. That's on the first click. But after that, it changes the onclick function from populate from within the populate, you know, populate changes it to no longer run populate anymore. Now it'll run handle click, and handle click will do what, we, what it'll reveal the cell. So, um, but I want to see how populate works, so I want to kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to save that, refresh, 10 by 10. I'm going to click, and it doesn't do anything. So um, I think it does do something, but I don't see it. So I'm going to say draw state here, and maybe I'll see it now. Uh, did it crash? Maybe. Uh, I might have a bad loop. Oh, yeah. Um, so once I lay a mine, I need to say bomb count plus plus. Okay, let's refresh again. Now when I click... Great, I should have 10 negative ones. Um, it may not be 10 negative ones um, because I'm choosing pl places at random, and if I choose the same place at random, it'll lay two in the same spot, basically. So um, it'll still be one bomb, but uh, one of my bomb laying tasks will, will be lost, basically. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that, yeah, I have 10, but if I keep running this, let's say I go to 3, and I click, it should do 3. I'm going to do that again. Click, 3, okay. 3, okay. 3, just two. So what it did was it, it must have picked the same place more than once. Um, so I, I ended up only getting two, which is okay. I, I mean, that's not a bad thing. Uh, we'll fix that later. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but the way we could fix it is keep a record. And that's why I have this um, invalid cells. Uh, we could keep a record of everything that we chose. In fact, I'll do that. We'll say... Um, invalid cells dot push and I will add um, x comma y and so we'll keep track of the cells that we don't want to put another bomb in right now I'm not checking to see if um, well we could <laughs> let me um, say I guess we'll do that so um, if well, you know, I'll do that later. Uh, we'll we'll make it. We'll fix that later. Um, it's fine for now. Um, but we we would keep track of where we've already put bombs and not put a bomb there. Uh, right now, it's possible for us to click a non. You know what? We'll, we'll fix it now. I guess. Um, so uh, we'll pick a random location, and as long as. Um, it is not in the invalid cells, we will put a bomb there. So um, we only do this where we lay a bomb if 
we, are, we do not already have something in the valid cells. So I'm going to say um, let valid equal true, and then for cell of invalid cells, for each cell in the invalid cells, check to make sure that the cell's x position, so if uh, cell the first number, uh, the x position, is not equal to x, and the second number, the, the, the cell's uh, row, is not equal to y, uh, then we're going to do what we had here. So then we add the, we add it. We don't add it, and we just skip that pass of the loop uh, if it's um, if it's in the invalid cells. So let me try to run that. Uh, still failed. Uh, <laughs> why did it fail now? That should work. Oh, I know. Um, yeah. Whoops. So if that's not, and that's not, we'll say valid equals valid or um, and um, actually, I think all we want to do is just this. We don't need the if. Okay, so we'll set valid to true. This is like the algorithm that we use in tic-tac-toe, where we're saying um, make sure that you that all the things are true. So we're going to check every cell, and we're going to make sure that none of the cells have a double match for the x and the y coordinate. As long as they're not the same for both the coordinates, uh, and then we'll record that invalid. And as long as all of them are valid, or you know, none of the invalid cells are the one that we're currently on, then we will lay the cell. So for that, then if valid, um, that's where we. Oh shoot! I got rid of my code. Uh, that's where we're gonna. See lay the field that's what that's when we lay the bomb okay so let's try that I think it died uh, what did I do okay valid Is true for every cell check to make sure that it is valid and if you get through all that uh, set the field to the bomb and increase the bomb count why isn't that working oh because I say invalid cells push x y Ah, I don't want to do that here. Let's see. Oh. Oops, I didn't want to click that either. Yeah, stop. That's what I want to do. Okay, uh, three, click, three, okay, good. Um, let's try it again. Two. Shoot. So it's not working. Huh. Why is that not working? So valid to true if 
each cell of the invalid cells doesn't match, then you get through and you're still valid, and then you can store it. So um, I'm going to put an event here. You don't have to, but um, I'll come back to that. And uh, so x is the random, y is the random, and then as long as the cell is not the random value, it stays true. And if you're true at the end, set it equal to negative 1. Oh, that should work. I feel that it should work, but it doesn't. Huh. That's annoying. Um, it looks like it works to me, but it doesn't. Okay. Um, Valid. Oh, uh, no, that should. Hmm. Let me cancel that log. I just want to see. Okay, all good. All good. Why does it stop? So it got this twice. So it says zero zero two one, and then you can see that it did two one again. Why did it allow that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know why. Um, so, if it's valid, if valid, I'll say else. No. Um, yeah, if it's valid, then we, I know, we just need to record it. So, uh, invalid cells dot push and then inside of here I'm gonna do X comma Y. So once I've added the cell, I need to remember that I've added the cell so that the next time I go to add a cell, it's now in the invalid list. So that's that was it. Whoops. Now it should not have problems. I should get pff, that was weird. I should get why is it like this now? Okay, good. So hopefully that's 12. No, it's not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I think it's working. Uh, the only thing I want to change here is, um, so let me do this again. I'll do threes. Click. I was in this cell. Okay. Man, ah, there. So I've clicked in this cell, and it was a bomb. So that's a problem. We don't want the user to lose on their first click. So I'm going to go here, and when I click populate, before I start laying bombs, I'm going to add that cell to um, the cell I clicked. I'm going to add that to the invalid list. So I'm going to go up to when I get the row in the cell, these four lines, I'm going to put that here. 
and then I'm going to say down here where I add the thing to the invalid size. I'll put that there. And I'm going to push the row column. So the very first place I click gets added to the invalid cells. And then it starts laying bombs, um, not where I clicked, and not where there are other bombs. So um, that should work. Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure that'll work. Uh, well, never mind. <laughs> it seems to be broken and frozen. Uh, what did I do? Push row. What's wrong with that? Let's stop it. Okay, it timed out. Why would it do that? Um, I'll try again. It's gonna do it again. I've broken it. Uh, why would that do that? I don't know. Um, hmm. So let me console dot log invalid cells at that point, and uh, let me. See see if I get any errors or what I get. Okay. Um, what is this? I gotta wait for it to stop. Okay, so um, what did I click? I clicked. I clicked here, I believe, and I do get the array. Um, so the invalid should be where I clicked, and then it has laid things, but it seems to not break at that point. It seems to not stop. So why is that? Row column. Add that to invalid cells. X equals random, Y equals random for a cell of invalid cells. Ugh. I don't get it. Um, this, oh, did I not? I did say it, right? It should not be a problem, but it is. Hmm. I guess let me comment that out. Um, all right, click, and now it kind of works. It shouldn't put bombs anywhere, but uh, I think I still have now the problem that if I click somewhere 
it's possible for my first click to be a bomb. Yeah. I don't know why that's not working, what I just did, but um, it seems to break it. So uh, I will come back and try to figure that out later. Uh, anyway, so we almost have it. Um, actually, I'm going to try to figure that out, and uh, we'll start with that on the next video. So I'm not sure why that's having trouble.